Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a little fun going through my Chanel Rouge Coco Flash collection. As many of you know, the Rouge Coco Flash are one of my favorite kind of formulas of lipstick. They're just easy to wear. They are kind of a hybrid between a lipstick and a gloss. So, so you're going to get that kind of hydrated, plumped up, glossy look on the lip, but in the form of a lipstick. So I have several Rouge Coco flashes and I thought we would go through today and I'm going to share my favorite ones. I did leave out the ones that were limited edition, but I stuck with the ones that are currently available and there's a little mix of everything from nudes, some pinks, berries, all the way up to a few reds. So if you are interested in seeing my Chanel Rouge Coco Flash collection, giving you lip swatches as well as a swatch on my arm, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, bringing you in a little closer today, we're gonna do a full on lip swatch today. So first I thought we'd take a peek at the packaging. Uh, this is the original Rouge Coco lipsticks, kind of the classic Chanel lipstick with the CC on top. And then this is the Rouge Coco Flash. It's a little bit more slender. And then on the top, it's got a little bit of a clear base. So you can almost see the color of the lipstick inside, but it still has the classic Chanel CC. So just a little bit more slender in size. And the reason I love these lipsticks, you guys, is they're, they're just easy too slick on the lips. You don't necessarily need to use a lip liner and such. And real quick, the price of these lipsticks is now $40. I believe when I bought them, most of them, I think they were $38. So the price has gone up slightly and I am going to start with the nudes all the way to the deeper shades. So we'll see how this works out, but we're gonna start with one of my favorite shades ever. And this has been a repeat purchase. And that is the shade Boy number 54. So Boy is your classic pink beige nude. And I just love this one. It is easy to slick on, goes super well with a smoky eye. And this is the shade Boy. I feel like Boy is one that And this is the shade Boy. And I feel like Boy is one of those shades that pretty much everybody is going to love. Perfect kind of pink beige toned nude. Next up is one of the newer Rouge Coco flashes that just launched and that is in the shade Dawn. And Dawn is going to be a little bit of a warmer nude than Boy. Less pink, a little bit more in warm tone or honey toned. And it is just a gorgeous shade, especially for the upcoming summer months. It's just got a little bit of that warmth in it. And this is the shade 158 Dawn. So far we've got Boy and then we have Dawn. Next shade I have is Easy. This is 116. Again, this is going to be in the nude range. And this one's going to lean a little bit more in that peach nude, slight pink in there but still in that nude zone. And this is the shade Easy. 
and this is shade easy. So, so far you guys, we have boy, we have dawn, and then we have easy. Next we're coming in to shade 132 and this shade is flushed. And this is shade 132, flushed. And a swatch on my skin, 132, flushed. Last color in sort of the nude pink zone is going to be Jour. This is number 90, Jour. This is another kind of great everyday kind of lip color. And this is the shade Jour. So these are my kind of everyday nude colors. Starting over here, I have Boy, I have Dawn, I have Easy, I have Flushed, and then I have Jour. So you can see we're starting in those more nude tones over here, moving into some more pink almost pink coral peach tones over to over in this zone. Let's do a quick little recap of these five everyday kind of rouge cocoa flashes. We have boy that's going to be your pink beige. Then we've got dawn which is one of the new rouge cocoa flashes and you'll see it's a little bit more warm in tone maybe a touch of brown in it. Really warm I kind of think of it as a honey nude. Then I have got easy and easy is going to be for those of you that still love a nude but you don't necessarily want that pink beige. Easy is going to be kind of the step up. So if you are finding that boy might be something that washes you out, I feel like easy is going to be your next best kind of nude. So if boy seems like it's a color that could wash you out, I would then recommend easy, which again has got a little bit more warmth to it. Flush yeah. is going to be your sort of light medium coral. It's got a little bit of pearl in it. Very pretty and very spring appropriate. And then we have Jour and that's going to be a little bit more of your kind of mid-tone perfect everyday kind of lip color. It's going to give your lips a little bit more color but still in that fantastic easy formula. Okay, we're going to move into the deeper tones and we're going to start with Live. And Live is a deeper rosy pink and it's just really gorgeous. It will liven up anybody's complexion. I think this is a bestseller. I bought this when I was in New York at the Chanel Atelier Boutte. And I think this was one that they often recommend to for everyone because so many people were purchasing this particular shade that evening. So, so this really is going to work on a variety of skin tones. And this is number 82 in Live. Live. And, and here's a swatch of 82 in Live. Next I have 134 in Lust and this is going to be a little bit more of a brown toned kind of terracotta. And this is the shade Lust. And here's a swatch of Lust. Next up, I have a new one to me. This is Chanel Heat and this is shade 166 and this is going to be a warm toned 
medium dark copper and it's got kind of a luminous finish. And this is the shade Heat. And swatched on my arm, definitely a fun poppy color. Next, we have Delicatess, kind of a deeper pink rosy tone. And this is the shade Delicatess. And here is it. And here is Delicatess swatched. And this is one of my favorite shades for the spring and summer. Just a really pretty glossy kind of deeper pink tone. Okay, two more. And this is what I would call my power red. This is number 70, Attitude. And this is the shade Attitude. And swatched on my hand, this is Attitude. Then last but not least, we have one of my personal favorites. This just launched and it is in shade 164 and this is Flame. And Flame is basically your sort of medium to dark tone plum. So right up my alley. And this is the shade 164 Flame. And swatched right here is Flame. And then we'll recap again over here. We've got starting with Live, then we've got Lust, then we have Heat, Delicatess, Attitude, and then we are ending with Flame. Okay, guys, that is my Rouge Coco Flash collection. As I said, I've got a few other ones, but those were sort of limited edition. And if I had to pick like my top five, I would say before I always loved Boy and I've repurchased Boy, but then Easy got launched and Easy is just a little bit deeper than Boy so it doesn't wash me out as much. So I would say Easy for my everyday nude. I also am completely in love with the new launch in Dawn. That's again going to be a little bit more warm honeyed kind of nude. Either Easy or Dawn for my kind of everyday nudes there. Then for my kind of medium kind of pink, I would go for Live. This is just a beautiful color. It livens up anybody's collection. Delicatess is just a fun spring color. I have been pulling this out more recently. Love to wear this with kind of a simple eye and a little splash of color on the lips. And then my personal favorite deeper shade is going to be Flame. That's what I'm wearing right here. Flame is going to be like your kind of mid-toned plum. I just love it. It's a little bit deeper, kind of fun, but all of the colors that I showed you today are fantastic. Those are just kind of my top five that I personally wear the most. So there is 38 shades available in the Rouge Coco Flash collection. I have a couple that I currently have in my basket that I'd love to pick up. They have a Coco Club that looks amazing. They also have Moment that just looks like it's going to be a step up of a new Nude. So I always love to hear what your favorites are. Let me know if there is a color that I must try. Always game for a new little pick-me-up lipstick. I wanted to go ahead and share my collection with you today since it is one of my favorite kind of lipstick formulas. Okay guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will be back with another video soon.